Kidney stones, also known as renal calculi or nephrolithiasis, are hard crystals or deposits that form within the kidneys or the urinary tract. Urine is a solvent that is made and processed by the kidneys and is mostly water, but also contains dissolved solutes such as salts. When a particular solute becomes too concentrated within the urine, this can start to form crystals. Now this can happen by either not enough solvent, i.e. water from dehydration, or too high of a concentration level of solute within the urine. Therefore, kidney stones can be classified by the composition of the stone itself. There are four main types of kidney stones based on the composition. Number one are calcium based. This is approximately 80% of all stones. Examples would be calcium oxalate or calcium phosphate. Risk factors that increase the likelihood of this type of stones would be dehydration or conditions that lead to high amounts of calcium in the blood or calcium in the urine. The second type of stone are uric acid based stones, which are approximately 10% of all stones. These are associated with conditions that lead to an increase of uric acid in the blood or urine or conditions that lead to acidic urine. That's less than 5.5. The next type of stone is cysteine stones. This is approximately 1% of all stones, and this seems to be associated with conditions that decrease the reabsorption of amino acids at the kidneys, particularly cysteine. Lastly, we have struvite. These are approximately 1 to 5% of all stones, and these are, seem to be associated with renal infections, particularly bacteria. Finally, clinical features that are associated with kidney stones, um, unilateral. So 80% of kidney stones will be on one side of the urinary tract. They're more commonly in males. The most common symptom being severe flank pain. This is caused by the stone being caught in the ureter, which increases the pressure, but also the muscles contracting against the stone, causing extreme renal colic and severe pain, which can radiate down to the groin. This is usually associated with nausea and vomiting, and because the stone scrapes the ureter on the way down, we may also see blood in the urine.